Welcome to part 3 of this three part video series looking at cleaning data in Leica Cyclone. In this part we're going to be looking at exporting data. You can download the Cyclone database used in this video series by clicking the link in the video description. In terms of exporting the point cloud, Cyclone exports to both ASCII and binary formats. ASCII conveys information using text, whereas binary structures store data directly in binary code. So the advantage of ASCII format is it's human readable, you could open it in a text editor, whereas binary files are more compact, contain more information and can support higher read speeds. And then straddling the two formats we have E57. This is a vendor neutral format for point cloud storage, it's one that I personally use. It can be used to store images and metadata used by laser scanners. It uses binary code in tandem with ASCII. E57 can store point normals, colours and intensity data. If we open our road demo project and select the scan data and then say File, Export, we can choose to export to the various ASCII and binary file formats. Now if you're working with something like AutoCAD or Edgewise 3D or Autodesk Revit BIM software then you'll want to have the data in RCS or RCP format. You can use Recap to generate the RCP file from E57, PTS, etc. Alternatively, Leica Seller publish a pro license that allows for direct export to RCS, RCP. This saves on time, especially if you have a large number of point clouds to index. Here we can see the 3D model created in Revit BIM. If we look at our church demo database, and go to File, Publish menu that we can also export to some proprietary Leica formats such as TrueView Local, TrueView Enterprise and Cloud as well as Jetstream Enterprise and LGS files. So we're going to go ahead and publish an LGS file. We're going to call it Church Demo. We're going to use camera positions, camera positions and we're going to include point cloud data we select the highest resolution panel image we can and um, we're going to make our site map slightly larger specify the size you can also export your click boxes, limit boxes and you can enter owner information if you want to LGS files can be used with other Leica software and plugins such as TrueView Enterprise and Cloud Jetstream Enterprise and Viewer, and Cloudworks plugins for Revit, AutoCAD, PDMS, MicroStation, 3D Reshaper and more. Once the LGS file is finished exporting, we can run Jetstream Viewer, open our LGS project, here's our sitemap with our scan positions, so scan world 1 and 2 and 3, and double click the scan world to enter the panoramic image and we can jump between scan positions by double clicking the scan world icons. You can also work in 3D like so and we can have a good look at the point cloud, there's a lot of trees there. <laughs> There's also a fly-through option. You can use these fly-throughs to generate animations. And up there's the ability to do quick clips. So we can select a point there, for example. And we can change the coloring of the points to, say, intensity map. And we can also take measurements, find out the distance there. We can turn the clip off. If you discovered that you wanted to make a larger clip, you can alter the clip size here. And again, 
select the area that you're interested in and you can see we have a much much larger clip there you can always use the site map to enter one of the scan world views so we can jump from right across our site the Jetstream Viewer itself is free, so it's an excellent deliverable for your client. It's also useful for BIM teams for reviewing and checking a BIM model for completeness. Leica offer Cloudworks plugins for AutoCAD, Revit, Navisworks, BricsCAD and Cyclone 3 dr With the Cloudworks plugin, you'll be able to open the LGS file or successfully connect to Jetstream Enterprise. We can also publish to TrueView Local. So to access that we'll go to file publish to TrueView local and we're going to choose our folder here TrueView export and I'm going to leave anti-alias and quality at medium the image size is the size of your sitemap um, that will appear when you open the TrueView and there are some TrueView settings I'm not going to go through all of the settings but um, We'd like to include the point data so that we can take measurements from the true views. Um, and we're going to leave geometric objects uh, ticked, um, smooth shading ticked. You can choose to limit the number of true views that are visible from each position. I'm not going to select that option. Uh, we're obviously going to use scan world positions and camera positions. And um, we're going to use the multi image. And our camera settings, we're choosing colors from scanner. You can apply a camera correction, but um, our images don't require that and you can set your own owner information so that if you supply this as a deliverable your client knows some metadata there so we'll click OK to that message and choose the scan mods that we'd like to export and now I'll pause the video while Cyclone exports the data so here we have the TrueView export. We can see here we've got our sitemap. It's an HTML file, so we can open that with Internet Explorer. Now there is a uh, Cloudworks plugin that you can download from the Leica website, and we'll make that available in the video description. Once that's installed, you'll be able to click on any of the scan world setups, and just have to allow block content there, and you can access the scan worlds so we can move from setup to setup by clicking on the icons alternatively we can always go back to our sitemap and then choose the one that we'd like to look at So the beauty of TrueView is that it's very simple and intuitive to use. You don't need any special CAD skills. We can mark up distances. We can leave text annotations. We can also mark up coordinates. Let's know the building corner there I'll give you the, the coordinates overlay notes can be saved as XML files which are easily shared via email if the true views are all shared on a server then anyone accessing them will see the comments finally you can also take uh, snapshots and you can add in hot links just add one here And we can give it a link like so. Now when someone's using the project they can click on that link and it will open a URL on stained glass. So that concludes our tutorial on file exports from like a cyclone. I hope you found the video useful. Please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.